Hey, it's Ray from LoveYourRV.com and uh, today I'm live from the picnic table and I've got a uh, couple of pairs of pliers to show you. Um, I've always been sort of a plier fiend. You see some of the ones I carry. Uh, I got some nice channel locks there. I've always liked good quality pliers. These are Snap-on, X-Lite, um, I believe these are Klein, um, and different styles of pliers. These ones are like super long needle nose, very handy getting into things. And these ones are duck build. And I've used them a lot uh, for different things, usually getting out screws and stuff like that. If the, I can get a good uh, leverage on them with such a long handle. And I got myself a few finer ones for little jobs. But uh, recently a company offered to send me a couple samples of their. Uh, pliers and the unique thing about these ones they're called van van pliers it's kind of a cool name is they um, can take out a stripped screw for you so you know when you have a, a Phillips or Robertson screw and you've stripped it and it's all rusted or stuck in these set of pliers they have I feel if you can see that kind of a concave jaw on them and they have the ridges going up and down but also side to side and they're very uh, sharp so that they're able to grip onto a screw and twist it out so yeah when I saw that I said sure send me a couple pairs I'll, I'll have a look at them give you a review so they've arrived here um, came in some nice packaging and uh, right away I'm really impressed with the, the feel of them. They've got a really nice rubberized coating on them. And also the steel feels really nice. Like I know what a good quality pair of pliers feels like. And I can tell you these are good quality steel. I also say uh, somewhere on them I saw made in Japan. So they're not just a, a cheap pair of China type knockoff pliers. So uh, I've got the set that's uh, eight inch lineman here, and then they sent me a smaller set, same sort of deal, with the small jaws for a little bit smaller screws. And these ones actually have a little spring in them, so they make it really nice to uh, use in your hand. They also both pairs have a really uh, nice cutter section in there for snipping out wires as well and they sent me some magazine or brochures here they have even a smaller pair of uh, black ones that look really interesting for intricate jobs and they do scissors and all that kind of stuff you can look on their website for that but uh, anyway I thought I'd demo them out um, they sent me a, a couple of these little blocks metal blocks for test so I can uh, see how they work for you. There's a truss head or a round pan head. But I also made my own test. I drove some screws into this uh, wood block. My own screws just to see uh, how they'll do it taking those screws out. So different sizes for the different size uh, pliers. So we'll give it a try here and see how, how they work. So we'll give a little pair a shot first and try the round pan head. Oh yeah. Tighten them right up. Oh yeah, you get a really good grip on the screw with these babies. And then there's one screw here that's, you can see it's really hardly anything to grab onto. No problem. That's really impressive because before I used to use my uh, duck bills, which are like this, they're a little worn down. I've had these probably for about 20 years, but I used to use those. Get that one, but yeah, I couldn't get the, the really flat screws there. Not hard to get at it. These babies are really positive. Very impressive. Let's try a bigger set here. A more hefty nut.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Awesome, all right. Okay, we'll give my wood block a try. So I've driven the screws into this. Try the biggies first. Yeah, no problem. Oh yeah, even grabs the the rounded head screw, no problem. Let's try the smaller one. Yeah. Yeah, I can actually twist it right into the wood if I want. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Can you tell I'm impressed? I always like a good tool. Okay, so those are uh, by a company called Vampire Tools. And they call themselves van pliers. So if I can see the logo. You can see it's like a little bat there. It's kind of kind of a neat uh, idea. So I have one more uh, test for these babies. Probably use these big ones on my uh, big blue Ford truck. The air uh, the thing that holds the air filter in place is three bolts. And one of the bolts actually snapped off, so I've got a stuck bolt head kind of buried in there. So hopefully this is going to help me grab that broken bolt and pull it out. So let's uh, give that a try. Okay, so we're in the motor of the beast. And hopefully you can see right here, I had snapped the the end of this bolt off so um, I can't uh, use the, the the air cleaner covers held on by three points and I can't use that point anymore because I had snapped that bolt off and it's hard to get out of there but I thought with well, these pliers that would be just a ticket so now I can get a good grab on that bolt and bite in there we go so yeah, makes it easy peasy to get that out. There, so now I can get a proper bolt in there. So yeah, for jobs like that, these are just the ticket. So there you go, quick demo of these uh, cool pliers. I'd say that gets the Love You RV two thumbs up for sure. I always like a good quality set of tools, that's for sure. Anyway, you can see those jaws there again. Good steel, made in Japan. Nice feel, nice handles. Love these rubberized handles, just feels, feels good. These ones even came with a little... Uh, cover like that for your for the plier. I think these ones go in the range of like 24 26 bucks and these bigger ones are around I think closer to $40 but uh, they're the type of tool that you'll probably uh, buy a set and they'll do you for your lifetime. That's the kind of tools I like to buy rather than buy four or five sets of cheap tools over the course of my life I'd rather have some good quality tools that uh, make the job a little easier to work with. So until next time, this is Ray from Love Your RV. Get out there and use your RV. Cheers.